Breaking news at five, more than 24 hours and still no sign of a teenage swimmer lost in the Gulf. Sanibel rescue teams have been searching near Blind Pass for more than a day now. Wing News anchor Annette Montgomery joins us from where the boats are. They're on the water at Turner Beach on Captiva at this point. Annette, what's the latest there? Chris and Lois, the latest is this is still an all hands on deck search and rescue mission to find that missing swimmer. You can see behind me there are still several law enforcement boats on the water as they have been for several hours today. And I'm going to have my photographer Kirshna walk with me over here to show you that command center that they just took down. It might be because of that weather match as mentioned, but you can see they just took that tent down. But I did check in with them a few moments ago with the chief of Captiva Fire telling me when this call first came in yesterday, there was outgoing tide. So he said the swimming conditions were a lot worse. Three active searches. And we have a number of agencies helping us and like I said the federal agencies, the Coast Guard, uh, countywide agencies and um, and we're going to continue in that fashion for the for the time being. Spanning the course of two days in an area known for rough current and the air on the water and from land to find one missing teenager. It's heartbreaking, you know. I'm just thinking about the family. Yeah, yeah it's very emotional. In the past, it's very, very emotional. On day two, the chief of Captiva Fire, one of the several agencies assisting in the search for the teen swimmer, says weather conditions are more favorable than the day the teen went missing, saying when they got the distress call Tuesday morning, there was an outgoing tide and storms in the area, creating a rougher climate and heavy chop, making swimming conditions a lot worse. The, the parents, that's what we feel so bad for, and you're helpless. We could hear them yelling, help, help, but they were so far out, and the current is bad today. Sanibel Fire rescued two of the four teens 100 yards past the buoys, which is why the search has been so expansive. On day two, the focus for beachgoers is still on the parents of this missing teen, with many of them offering up their thoughts, prayers, and tears with the hope that he'll be found. I feel heartbroken for the family. It really hit home when I found out that it was actually somebody from our local area. And taking you back out live to where this search mission is still happening. Now, law enforcement is still calling this a search and rescue mission. Everyone from Captiva Fire to Sanibel Fire and police, LCSO, FWC, and the Coast Guard have been involved in the search. Again, I want to bring you back around to where that command center has been since yesterday. Right there, you can see that command center where we have Captiva Fire as well as Sanibel Police on scene. Now, they did just take down that tent, possibly because of the weather, but they are still staying on scene right now. Now, I have been checking in with them all afternoon and they tell me the latest update is they're still trying to locate this missing male swimmer. Live in Captiva, Annette Montgomery, Wink News. All right, thank you, Annette. More breaking